Well, hello everybody. I'm going to do a quick review on this 25 foot PVC rubber hybrid air hose I picked up from Harbor Freight a few years ago. At that time, I wanted a shorter length of hose since all my hoses are 50, so I bought a 25. And it turned out I liked it so much, I went ahead and bought the 50 foot version of this hose. This is a super light hose and it's super flexible and through my use over time with it, I've had no complaints with it at all. I can't give the specific model number on the ones I have because they've since kind of discontinued them and come out with their Diablo line, which they appear to be the same product and actually a little bit better in my opinion. The new ones actually have a strain relief right here. I'm not sure if it's on both ends, but more than likely it is. I've never had a problem with strain on this, but that's what it is. Also, you would have to supply your own fittings. No hose will come with them. But for reference, uh, the 25 foot hose these days are, uh, is item number 64325. $20 retail, 16 bucks with a coupon. The 38 by 50 is 64326. $28 retail, 2240 with a coupon. And I believe on this particular hose, I paid about that 16 bucks. I've had no complaints with it. Like I'd said, I like it. It's a lot lighter than my Goodyear rubber hose or my other hose I have in here. You can see these dark marks here and there. These are not from burning or whatnot. This is from storing it on a bungee cord. It just, the black leached in there for some reason. The hose is dirty, but it is what it is. If you have an automatic hose reel, I have one over here. I don't think I would use a hose like this in it because it takes a lot of effort to pull it out. And it does have some give to it. It's a little bit stretchy here. It seems to tighten up once you get air into it. I did read some complaints at that particular point in time. <clears throat> where when people would supply air to it, it would just coil up like a snake. I don't have that problem, but this is how I keep my hoses, not like in a knot. I will try to do a simulation on that, never have, and see how it works out. But all in all, for both hoses, you might check them out if you're in the market. They also have in their Diablo brand some polyurethane for like roofing, just straight PVC, which are notoriously difficult to work with out in the cold. I've had this one cold before. It gets a little bit stiff, but nothing like a PVC hose where it's just like a brick. And they also have, I guess, 100% rubber hoses as well. All right, well, I've tried to make it messy here, but it's difficult for me because I keep my hoses trained. So they just want to roll up and coil real nice. But I've made small loops in here and a twist. I've got it disconnected right now on this hose coming out of my hose reel. I've got 100 PSI dialed on my regulator, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and we're going to see how it reacts right now. So here we go. Certainly didn't coil up or anything along those lines. Looks like it's not a problem, so I don't know what those folks were talking about. I see no issue with that at all, but that's just my experience. Alright, well I've still got pressure to it. I stretched it out straight. Let's say you're wrapping this around your compressor or whatnot. All of my air hoses, all of my extension cords, I wrap up the same way. I don't do over and under. I do an overhand technique only. It's just my preference. Uh, I don't daisy chain extension cords or anything like that. That's just me, do what you like, but I just grab it here and then I'll, I'll go out my wingspan and I'll get a bite right here. And then when I'm bringing them together, I twist this one and it makes the loop. Grab another one, twist it up in. It's just a sharp twist and it goes really fast. I'm trying not to hit the camera or do anything, but I can do it a lot faster than that. And then it's hung and ready to go. Take off what you need, put it back. Well there it is guys, not much to say about it. I do think it's a good product. Both of these hoses that I have, the 25 and the 50, have spent the majority, or all of their life for that matter, being drug around the concrete floor, around obstacles and whatnot. No problems, no tears, no blowouts, no nothing. 
The only thing I do with all my hoses is I do my best to keep them out of the sun. Hope this helps in some way. Good luck guys. Thanks for watching.